Hello everyone, and welcome to my Deepwoken ASMR mukbang. Today, we're going to see a wide variety of food items that can be found across the map and be crafting them into various foods. Now, most people are aware of the basic brown cap and dentiflow mushroom soup. A very staple food in the Deep Oaken community. You can find it simply based off going right around there, picking up some brown caps and some dentaflows. People who are a little bit more experienced in the game may know of the fruit salad. This gives you new types, or well, this gives you a lot of food, and it also gives health regen. Now, uh, if you go to Song Seeker, there are three different types of fruits readily available. Additionally, you can find ongos, pomars, and plum plum fruits over there uh, towards the entrance to Etria. Uh, you don't have to specifically be these fruits. You can have a wide variety of fruits. As you can see here, we will craft five fruit salads. Now, uh, the... Where is sap? Sap is another pretty staple item in the community. Uh, it can be made to use various food items, such as the sticky bun. Now, the sticky bun, uh, it's not the best food to eat. I'll eat it now. And it says, you feel ether surging into you. Very good for high intelligent builds, but it doesn't really do much past that, as both of these food items will do. Here is the fruit salad. You feel your wounds closing up. Increased health regen. Very good for PvP. Uh, it may not matter in some instances, but if you have things like Conditioned Runner, maybe even a Life King, that'd be a very great addition to your arsenal. Also, just a quality of life thing. Uh, another thing you can do is if you take sap, gathered wheat, and an egg, you can make a cake. I've, almost, I've never seen anyone use this item. I've never seen anyone eat it before. We'll eat it now. You feel quicker on your feet. This will now allow me to move even quicker throughout all of Deep Oaken, increasing your agility. I'm not sure if this is a flat movement speed boost or just a thing for your uh, other agility, like an increase to your passive agility, but it should, it can help you. Uh, it does require an egg and sap. Sap can be found on trees, uh, specifically, there's some of the thing at Etrus, there's a lot in lower Etria. Egg, uh, they're, they're kind of hidden across the map, but on the Etrus docks, if you go to the right on a cargo lift, on top of it, you'll find a little little nest, and that's where I was able to find my eggs. Yeah, we can also be made to use to craft into bread. Uh, pretty good. Uh, it, it refills a lot of your hunger, but that's about it. it. does not give that much water, as you can see. Next on our list is... Uh, can be used to craft into red juice. I will only be able to make one because I think I'll need to make more uh, fruit salads. If you drink the red uh, juice, you get a lot of water. I don't think it necessarily gives a buff. No, it does not give a buff. I just checked the wiki right now. Uh, another thing you can do is if you take, I believe it's sap and two different types of fruits. Oh, you, you just need one fruit. You can make candied fruit. Look at here, and if it gives any buffs, it does give a buff. Your magic feels stronger. This increases your mantra damage. Very good in PvP. Uh, it, they're pretty easy to make. Sap can be found on almost any tree, as I said, and you can just pick the fruits off of a tree. I would highly recommend taking advantage of these foods if on competitive levels of play, but I can kind of see that it's not going to matter all that much in lower levels of play. Or just the casual scene. You know, maybe if you're fighting a boss for the first time, like a little boy in a hole, but more on that later. There is also something called a fruit cake. Again, most of these fruit-related items, they can all be used hand-in-hand -hand to each other to make the same things. 
Uh, the red is the only thing I can really think of off the top of my head with exclusives being the red juice. Then I believe you take that and one gather meat to make fruit cake. Gives me kind of like a Christmas vibe. Doesn't necessarily give any pops though. Next on our list. Next on our list. And probably our last item. Noodles. These don't necessarily give anything. But can be good food. Uh, I don't. I can't exactly measure how much food they give right now. But I wouldn't really recommend going out and finding these things just for food. Uh, if you're going to make weird, complicated food items, it's got to at least give you a bum. Food, uh, I completely forgot, is the plum fruit muffin. This can be made by, uh, I believe it's two plum fruits and one gathered wheat. Correction, one plum fruit and one gathered wheat. This does not give any sort of buffs. Enjoy the deep pocket. Welcome back. you can get food these are craftable items but you can just buy them here there is the mushroom bisque the mushroom omelet that's also a mushroom bisque and the macarker we'll buy one mushroom omelet one mushroom bisque and one macarker oh and we have just enough cash for one extra mushroom omelet And for the last item of today, the Mekurker. Both of the Mushroom Omelette and the Mekurker gives this buff. Your weapon feels stronger. This actually makes you do more M1 damage. Very good. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Deep Woken ASMR mukbang. If you have any ideas for a future video, I would love to see it. Anyways, have a good night.